ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Amazing Gamer, DJMC here. Excuse me. Burp. Okay, I'm just looking at some footage of Marvel Midnight Suns on, I guess, their version of Spider-Man. Who is voiced yet again by Ben 10 himself, Yuri Warrenthal. I hope I'm saying the last name right. Um, I'm still hyped for Marvel Spider-Man 2, but... I want to talk about maybe the costume design for Marvel Midnight Suns version of their Spider-Man, in a way. Uh, okay. I will say that it's, it's not a great Spider-Man suit, but it could it could be a lot worse if you think about it. But um, for all of those who do like Marvel Midnight Suns, that's good for you. To me, honestly, I don't think I'm going to see myself playing this game a whole lot or even touching it because I find it weird that the combat system has to relate to cards, in a way. Like, maybe I'll, if I want to, just if I'm bored, I might watch some footage of people who have played the game. I don't know, but I want to talk about maybe the suit design a little bit. Okay, so, um, what's the first thing I should talk about? I will say it's a well new, 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 yeek, or, yeah, new, unique. Different from any other version of Spider-Man suits we have seen in video game media. Uh, the one thing I might have about, I find weird how they did the belt a little bit, like, now, don't criticize me here. We all know in the Marvel Spider-Man 2 game that the Advanced Suit 2.0 doesn't really have much of a belt anymore, unlike the first version, but just hear me out. Like, on Spider-Man's classic suit, he has a big red belt that goes around his waist, but on the Marvel Midnight Sun suit, it only has it into, like, pieces. Like, it doesn't even go all the way into the back side of the waist anymore for some reason uh, another thing about the suit design um it technically doesn't have webs like you don't see like black lines where the webbing is like like it's still spider-man but just for some reason it makes him look like he doesn't have the webs on his red and blue suit like on the web parts like for some reason it just looks like they just decided to you know get rid of the black webs just Show like the webs are there, just don't bother putting the black lines in there for some reason. So I find that a bit weird. It just it makes Spider Man feel like he's naked without the webs in a way, to be honest. Uh let's see. Uh I should mention this. Uh he does have different costumes in the game besides his own midnight sun suit, which to be honest, I find a weird concept for it. He also has a demon spider look suit. It just... It kind of makes him look like just... It has one color and then the logo is a different color. Uh, he does, however, have a black suit. The classic symbiote design black suit. And to be honest, I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't like... If it ain't broken, don't fix it. But... Like, hear me out here. We all know Exomniac like, because the black suit is going to be in the second game. That means we're going to see, like, what would the symbiote advanced suit looks like. Because, like, we only know what the symbiote will look like on Peter's classic suit. But we're going to see what the symbiote suit will look like on a high-tech suit for the first time ever in the Exomniac Spider-Man universe. Because that world's Peter Parker has not encountered any of the symbiotes, which is funny for him being Spider-Man for... At this point, it might as well make sense to say 10 years. Because, hear me out here. In Marvel Spider-Man, he has been Spider-Man active for 8 years. Or at least, I do know him, probably be 9 years at this point. Because he still says 8 years for in, at, the, at the start of Miles' game after you kick the shit out of Rhino. But, um... I, I wouldn't mind to see if they did, like, a original design of what Peter's black suit would look like in the Marvel Midnight Sun universe. That's just my opinion a little bit. Also, uh, 
I guess the eyes on the Max, they are kind of a bit weird, in a way. I don't know how to describe it. Like, you have to look up an image of what the suit looks like so you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, but, like, the Midnight Sun suit for Spider-Man in that game, it could have been worse, but it's not the best. I mean, look at Crystal Dynamics' version of Spider-Man. Like, I like that his class of suit is a little reminiscent of Steve Dicko and John Romina Sr. design a little bit. But then when you get the iconic suit for him, like, the suit could have been better, but it could not be any worse. So Marvel Midnight Suns kind of takes the cake on that, like, takes the first place on that, to be honest. Like, worst Spider-Man suit design. That's just my opinion. Doesn't affect I still don't like Spider-Man. I do like Spider-Man to my heart. But the Marvel Midnight Sun, they could have maybe done a bit better on the classic suit. That's all I got to say. Anyway, bye.